Hello there, this is Russ Buecher from Control My Nikon. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can adjust the focus in Control My Nikon. On your camera, there's two types of focus. There's phase focus, which is a type of focus that's used when you're not in live view. And when you're in live view, you use contrast focus. So phase focus, contrast focus. Let's take a look at phase focus first. So I'm connected to a D800 here. And I'm just going to quickly show you the view we're looking at here. It's just this uh, rotating radiometer. And we'll try focusing on this. Now, when you're not in live view, and if you were to click on, say, AF for autofocus, that caused a phase autofocus. Now, the result of that autofocus attempt is going to depend on what your focus settings are on the body. Most bodies have settings where you can have an automatic 3D detect of focus or a static focus where you can move a little box around in your viewfinder with the joystick and focus on that particular point. That is what's being used when you click on this AF or AF and shoot button. So here's the result. When I tried to capture this outside of live view, it used phase focus and probably on that D800 the focus box on the viewfinder is maybe up in the, say, upper left. So it attempted to focus on something out here in this white background and really couldn't find anything and the focus failed. But generally, in Control My Nikon, you use live view and contrast focus when you can. Because that makes it a lot easier. Because the only way to move that little focus box in the viewfinder around while tethered is to actually go over to the camera and move it around. And that's not always practical. Let's give it a try in live view. Now to focus in live view, we use a contrast focus. And contrast focus basically means that the body will attempt to detect areas of high contrast in the image. This little focus box here is the area in which it'll attempt to find that. So you can move this around in live view by just single clicking. And you can also set up keyboard shortcuts to move it around as well. Now to autofocus, I can either double click here or I can just click on this button up here, which does the same thing. So attempt to autofocus and you can see it's cycling through its range with different results depending on where you click. Because if I click over here, while well, it's attempting to focus really on this cloth background here, so like phase focus, for it to be successful, you need contrast. And contrast focus is even more sensitive to this problem than phase focus. It's very easy to get contrast focus hunting or just getting it wrong. So let's try focusing on this point here. Just a little bit more contrast. There we go. So where it saw this nice dark edge on the white background, it didn't have as much problem with the focus. How about this edge right here? Now you can zoom in on it with these buttons here to confirm your focus. While in live view, you can also use focus adjust buttons. And this moves the focus a little bit in this direction. This moves it back closer and these buttons on the end just move it a larger amount. The amount that it moves is configured here in the Layers menu, and it's under Focus Step. So these two buttons here use this step value of 50, which on an icon body is, is pretty good, and uh, here, for a course, is 300. The smallest amount you can move a focus on a Nikon body is about 8. And sometimes you'll use autofocus and it's just wrong. You'll zoom in on it and go, well, I can do better than that. And so you just use the focus buttons to adjust it and make it a little better. So here, it's, my adjustment's just a little bit too coarse. I'm going past what's probably the optimal focus. 
So I'll take my step fine and decrease it. And now when you move it, it moves a much smaller amount. So that's the wrong way. This point right here, that looks okay. You can even see the dust on the inside of this glass bulb. I'm not too sure how that got there. Okay, I'll zoom back out. When you're focus stacking, you also have another set of focusing buttons right here. Really work the same way as the other adjusting buttons. And if you have a stack shot rail, this will also move the rail position. To ensure that the body is set in the correct focus, go to the Preparing Your Camera Help, then find your camera on the list, Now in some bodies, you'll see this terminology, normal area. That refers to the size of the focus box, and here it's brought down to the smallest size possible, but there's another size that you can set on the body and it's quite a bit bigger. So you get more accurate focus control with a smaller size box. So be sure to check out this preparing your camera help to get the focus settings correct on your body. And that's it. That's how you change the focus in Controlman Icon. Happy tethering.